painting is called How We Made the Universe. This is a, it's acrylic on canvas. And I painted this in 2010, 10-ish. This uh, basically was inspired by two books. The first one was Graham Hancock's Supernatural, which was, uh, at the time, I thought it was a pretty good book. But I, I don't really like it anymore. I'm a huge fan of, of Graham Hancock. I love his early works. But this book is way too overwritten. I could have been, he could have made the point in about that many pages. But he labored far too much to prove his academic word. It's still worth reading. You see this one as well, red is falling to pieces. It has some interesting artwork in it. And it was also inspired by this book called The Mind in the Cave by David Lewis Williams. This is a much better book. This, although it's much more of an academic, don't wreck your painting Thomas, you fucking idiot. This is much more of an academic study into cave art, the development of language as a supernatural, and how we made the universe, which is the title of this, this painting here. The basic premise is that when mankind picked the first soot up off the floor of the cave or red ochre and began drawing on the wall, he would have needed language to describe what this was. So he could say this was, you know, this was a tiger, this is my friend hunting, and so forth. And then language and would have developed from that. And also synesthesia. Synesthesia is an interesting process where people who hear certain sounds they see a certain colour in their mind. So maybe you, there's a very good theory that's brought about in this book, and also in Hancock's book, about this concept. So basically human beings were not only creating art, but they were creating the universe because they are creating a linguistic dynamic as well as a visual one. And the matching of the two brought both together. And that was what inspired this painting, which I did about 2010-ish, I think. Uh, it's acrylic on canvas, but I sometimes dig in watercolors because I tend to use inexpensive because I couldn't afford them at the time I still can't expensive acrylic paint so I would dig in with my fingers to highlight the tones you can see it up here in the blue particularly a Prussian blue would be pushed in as a watercolor and then I seal the whole thing with this which is a an acrylic car lit, lit spray which is just incredibly tough and it holds the watercolors and the acrylics together and keeps the colors vivid forever and UV uh, UV safe, so I'm not adverse to using modern technology. I was quite happy. I used this. I've never used the fluorescent paint. I don't think in any other any other painting before. But I was quite happy in the way it came out on this one. The painting, as the as the caveman is painting his Paleolithic art, you can see it's like a cow's head here. He's this this fluorescent part is symbolizing the explosion of dynamic creative energy that's turning man from basically being an animal, basically a higher animal, into the modern evolved human being. So it's really a painting about evolution. Evolution of the human mind, linguistics, soul, art. And that's the universe, how we made the universe. This book, this painting was also, uh, has been featured now in an Irish school curriculum textbooks on the history of Irish art, which is not really that Irish, but I guess they're using it to illustrate the idea. And also, it was uh, it's featured on the Newgrange website. So it's actually got quite a bit of a history, this painting. And uh, so there it is, how we made the universe. Interesting painting. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it, thank you.